Hello everyone. Welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving area of composite figures formed by any two or more of the following. Triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. This is our problem. A roller ring floor is shown below. Its end is a semicircle. What is its area? If hardwood flooring costs 200 pesos per square foot, how much will the flooring cost? This is the roller ring floor. To solve this problem, we're going to use the four-step plan. First is we're going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. In this problem, it is asking for the area of the roller ring floor, the cost of hardwood flooring. What are the given facts? The given facts are 80 feet for length, 40 feet for width, 20 feet radius, and 200 pesos per square foot. After we understand the problem, the next step is we're going to make a plan. Let's analyze and identify the figures. The figures that we can easily identify are the rectangle and the two semicircle. Find the area of its figure. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. We're going to find the area of a rectangle. In finding the area of a rectangle, we're going to use this formula. Area is equal to length times width. The length is 80 feet and the width is 40 feet. Let's multiply. 80 feet times 40 feet is equal to 3,200 square feet. This is the area of a rectangle. Combining the two semicircles on both ends of the figure will result to a circle. So let's find the area of a circle. To find the area of a circle, we're going to use this formula. Area is equal to pi radius squared. So the estimated value of pi is 3.14 and the radius is 20 feet raised to the power of 2. Bring down 3.14 times 20 feet times 20 feet is equal to 400 square feet. Let's multiply 3.14 by 400 square feet is equal to 1,256 square feet. This is the area of a circle. The next step is we're going to get the total area of the floor. To get the total area of the floor, we're going to use this formula. Total area is equal to area of a rectangle plus area of a circle. So the area of a rectangle is 3,200 square feet and the area of the circle is 1,256 square feet. Let's add 3,200 square feet plus 1,256 square feet is equal to 4,456 square feet. This is the total floor area. If hardwood flooring costs 200 pesos per square foot, then 4,456 square feet times 200 is equal to 891,200 pesos. Alright, the last step is we're going to check. Let's divide 891,200 pesos by 200 pesos and it gives the answer of 4,456. As we all know that 4,456 is the total floor area of our composite figure. Therefore, our answer is correct. 
I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.